de las cintas que compitieron dentro de la selección oficial internacional del festival fue el documental Machines, del director indio Rahul Jain. Sobre las terribles condiciones de trabajo en una fábrica textil en la India. I was in my school, in my undergrad, in California, and I was about to be kicked out of school because I had not done anything in two years. So I got a warning. Uh, so I had to make something. And around the same time, there was an accident in Bangladesh where around 1,100 people died very quickly when a factory collapsed. And uh, my maternal grandfather used to own a factory like this, very, very much smaller when I was very young. So I tried to find access through my grandfather and he, he, he got me to connect with some people. Anybody of those 1,500 workers in this factory can always be told, if you don't want to do it, there are thousands more waiting to take your job. There's an odd statistic I will share. Three years ago, the BBC conducted a survey of this job application of, of cleaning the bathroom in a government facility. So when you get a government job, you get that job for life. So for those 340 positions, there were 20,000 PhD applications, 80,000 MBAs, 160,000 undergrads, and 240,000 high school diploma la fotografía del documental estuvo a cargo del mexicano Rodrigo Trejo Villanueva. Um, Rodrigo was one of my senior in school. By the time when I figured out what this film was, uh, he was the only person in my mind who could deal with me for the journey. It would be a long journey. He was very alienated in the place this film was made. He couldn't speak the language verbally, linguistically. So he was left with observing the environment visually because he was so alienated by, by verbal language. So it helped him focus very good from the camera. En la décima edición de Cinema Planeta, el documental Machines de Rahul Yain ganó el premio del público.